back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I just have a little mini thrift haul for you. Um, my husband and I went thrifting and also to a yard sale yesterday and we found some fun things. This might be one of the last thrift hauls for a while because we're actually starting a no spend month in October. We are coming up on our four year anniversary and we really, really, really want to be able to go somewhere special. So we're doing a no spend month. We're hoping to be able to save a little bit for a fun vacation. The first yard sale we stopped by was, everything was like a dollar. I'm not even joking. So I won't show you, but we got a huge mirror, which I'm really excited about. It'll make it a lot easier to take um, outfit pictures that I post almost daily on Instagram. We got paper shredder, which is really funny because literally two days ago we went through our file folder and we found stuff like to paper shred and I just kind of set it in a pile and said, I don't know, we'll like cut this up or something. And then the next day we found a paper shredder for a dollar and it works perfectly fine. Um, my husband also got a couple of bicycles um, for free actually, which is really great. He's always on the lookout for free bicycles or really cheap bicycles because he fixes them up. Um, tunes them up and resells them. So, and then I also got this picture frame, which is in really great condition. I think I might have mentioned this before, but I always, always look at picture frames when I go thrifting. This is exactly the size that I need actually for a piece of artwork, so I'm excited I finally have a nice frame with a mat. Like, this is a really nice frame, and it was a dollar. So we got that from that yard sale, and then we also found this really fun puzzle. The fun thing about puzzles, if you get them thrifted, is you never know if all the pieces are there until you put it together. Um, it's just a bunch of dogs, like different breeds of dogs, and you can't you can't tell because it's really small, but it says like what kind of it says what kind of dog they are and where they're from, which is really cool. Um, like a bull terrier is England, Siberian Husky is Russia, um, Newfoundland is from Canada. So anyway, um, and then after the yard sale, we dropped by a locally owned, um, it's a fairly new thrift store in our area, and I'm not sure like who owns it. I think it's like a Christian based thrift store. Prices are super good, and I also love that it's kind of like a small thrift store. It's kind of tucked away. Not many people know about it, so it wasn't busy at all. The only tricky thing is they have very um, limited hours. I think it was like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, obviously I can't go any day except for Saturday when I'm not working my full-time job. But we did find some really fun things there. So, and I work with K through third grade, so I'm like always, always looking for manipulatives and um, like flashcards and anything hands-on that we can work with. So we found these, they're just Melissa and Doug um, little tiles and these are double-sided. Oh my gosh, if I can get it out. So anyway, this is really fun. I think this was $3. And then I also have really been needing an, a square eight by eight pan. So I'm gonna make some brownies with my new eight by eight square pans. My husband also found this game set and he took it out already. So this is just the box. I think this is like a 30 or $40 set new. And we got it for a super good deal and it's eight games. So next time the power goes out here, which happens quite frequently. <laughs> we, was 49 cents. It was 49 cents. That's insane. And then I did get some clothes, and we were only in this thrift store for about an hour. We got there an hour before they closed. We literally checked out, like, as they were closing, um, but the man was so nice. So I'll show you what I got there. So first was this Jones New York, size 16, gorgeous, like, oh my gosh, you guys. I picked this up and I wish that you could feel this fabric because it is so silky and so smooth. This is gorgeous, I think, for winter as like a cocktail dress. Sometimes I'm hesitant picking up black items because they're really difficult to photograph. Um, 
because you can't really see in a photograph like the detail, but if any of you see this and you want this dress, it is beautiful. It is in perfect condition and it will be perfect for the holidays. So I just couldn't pass it up just because it's pretty rare that you find a dress that is in like this amazing condition. So I found some motherhood maternity pants. Um, these are kind of like a stretch pant. They almost feel like, I think they're like a dress pant, but they're new with tags. So I found three pairs. So these are like a skinny leg um, dress pant. They have like this seam, stitched seam down the front, and they are a size extra small. Um, let's see. Faux back pockets. Anyway, these are really great and they're new with tags and then there was another pair that are also extra small and i'm pretty sure yeah these are the exact same these are a size 1x super stretchy just a really good dress pant for all those working moms okay and then i picked up some levi's these are the boyfriend skinny fit and I'm kind of into light wash distressed for winter and these actually have a stain right on the knee and a little bit of like stretching if you can see that so I'm actually going to distress these distressed a couple pairs of jeans before um so I'm probably going to distress these I might make a video of that actually to share um I found this floral dress it's Iris brand. It's a size extra large, but it looks pretty, it looks pretty small. Like it looks like it would probably fit a size medium. Anyway, it's just this really pretty floral dress, kind of like a V neckline. And then it has this high, low kind of like flared bottom. I think this would look just, just picture this. Okay. This dress with a white crew neck t-shirt underneath it, some Doc Martin boots, and if it's cold outside, a denim jacket. Like, do you think that's cute? I think that would be adorable. <laughs> um, I might even like try this on just for like outfit ideas, even though it's not my size, um, just to play dress up because it's fun. I don't know why, but I saw this top and I thought it was so cute. This is a scrub top, you guys. But like, I don't know, I don't know. I just saw it and I thought that is so cute. So yeah, just a scrub top. Is it weird if I wear a scrub top like a normal shirt? Cause I might do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll like layer something over it so you can't really tell it's scrubs. I just thought it was so cute. I love the colors and the small print floral. I don't know you guys. Um, okay. I found this dress in the little girl section. Um, I decided to just like really quick glance just because, and this is a Zara woman dress. I'm not sure why it was in little girl, but how cute is this? It's just like a shift dress from far away. It kind of just looks like a plaid. Um, and I guess it kind of is kind of a plaid in a way it has like these tulip sleeves. But if you look up close, I don't, I don't know how to describe this. Like, can you see that? It's like kind of plaid, but it's also just like, I don't even know. I don't know how to describe this, but it's so cute. So I had to get it. It'll be so cute for fall and winter with some booties. It would be super cute with like a brown cardigan over it, or like maybe another color, or you could do white if you want to keep it super neutral. Okay, and then I found this Levi's denim vest. I don't know. Apparently vests are back, you guys. I'm going to try styling this. I really don't wear vests. Like, I've never worn vests, but I really want to try it. So, if you have any tips on how to wear vests, let me know, please. I'll try to figure out how I can style this. We'll see. I think it'll be fun. But it, this is in really good condition. And I love Levi's. Whenever I find Levi's that are in like current style and good shape, I almost always pick them up. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you the shoes and I'm gonna save my favorite thing for last. So I found these um, Houston. I'd never heard of this brand before, but they are in really, really good shape. But they still have like the sticker on the bottom, like the size sticker. And the comps were pretty good on Poshmark and Mercari. So I'll list these, hopefully make a few bucks off of these. And then you guys, I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> this next thing. Okay. So I found this vintage quilted jacket. And I just, like, can you even, how fabulous is this? It's so cute. The sleeves are not quilted. Um, they're actually kind of thin, but the, the rest of it is quilted and has these really fun buttons. And I, I just, I just had to have this. I think this is such a cool statement piece. Um, I feel like for me, I am pretty, I'm like more of a capsule wardrobe type of girl. Um, for me, for shirts, I usually only wear like super basic shirts that I can mix and match with lots of different things. Um, and so I don't usually do like a statement dress or like statement shirts or anything like that, but I am totally all about a statement jacket or blazer and a statement shoe. So, cause those are things that I feel like you can, like you can just pull them on with just about anything and mix and match a lot more. And they kind of just elevate any look. Like I could be wearing black jeans and a white t-shirt and like a pair of Converse and it's super boring. But if I throw this jacket on, then all of a sudden my outfit is super rad and cool. So. Anyway, I definitely would say if you guys are going thrifting anytime soon, especially as we're heading into fall, look out for statement shoes, especially like loafers or booties. Um, those ones are really good shoes for fall and statement jackets because this is just so fun. Can't wait to style this for you guys and share all the fun ways that I can wear it. So that's going to be it for today's video. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I am planning a vintage thrift video where it's going to be kind of like a thrifting with me. I'm going to be styling some vintage items, sharing some tips. So if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. And then I'm also going to be coming up with a fall home decor video. It's going to be episode three in the series. So if that sounds interesting, again make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, thank you guys for being here. I look forward to your comments and I am really grateful for all of you who take the time to watch my videos every week. I post every Monday. So, oh, that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you next week. Bye.